Hello everyone, this is Eric Solet speaking and I would like to show you the flashlight build I have written about in the forums. As stated earlier, traits are simple. Prismatic understanding, chaotic dampening, deleting dissipation. This changes into master of manipulation, depends on the situation. Over here, Mendel's purity. Over here, illusionary persona, but in small scale duels or SPVP, confusing cry is very useful. Blinding befuddlement and master of misdirection. Those two are crucial. You can't simply go without them. Equipment. Rabid, 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 Rabid. Carry on, carry on. Well, those are carry ons. Seagull of Hydromancy, Seagull of Hydromancy, and Superior Seagull of Corruption. Over here, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. An artifact with Berserker. And Ancient Carcassel of Carrion. Alright, let's see what you can do. At heart, this is a confusion build. Enemies die for your amusement, using their own skills. The weakness of this build. I don't have anything to finish him right now. Please notice the blink and signal of hydromancy. This shows an absolute minimum of this build. No usage of stuff, and to be honest, it was a lousy fight on my part. If I timed a distortion properly, I would have stomped him without a problem. This is a more interesting fight, I will be able to show you a bit more. First I start from Illusion that you make and I go invisible. Everyone fights invisible thieves attacking the air, so I capitalize on that. Now Chaos Armor, because when he attacks me and strikes at me, his confusion stack grows. Then Cry of Frustration, because now I get retaliation. And now Scepter has recharged and I block his attack with Scepter too. And now he dies. So I forget about the Storm and Shutter again, because why not? And I heal, because warriors tend to stand up. And so he did. Yet again the same rotation. Scepter free to give up some confusions after getting into decoy and burn him with a torch. I have defeated him once, I will defeat him again. Now, while I was dueling an elementalist, a sneaky thief appeared. I cast Chaos Armor according to my rotation. I didn't notice the thief. Yet please notice, he kills himself. I didn't even notice him. I was looking like, why did he die? Well, the sheer shock of that made me almost lose this fight. If not for the fact an ally of mine, Necromancer, came here. Now the fun part. In W3 we get double confusion damage by itself and plus 40% condition durations from rare veggie pizza for food. Ah, and those attunement crystals. SPVP action doesn't look like very impressive. Let's see W3. I'm hunting a messner here. He tries to run away. First scepter 3, but he will try to run. Until I chill him. Then he knows he can't escape. And he dies. For the people who don't know, the mesmer over which the red arrow is present is the real one. The other one is the clone. So stomping mesmers is not that hard. Confusion on the battlefield is not the tool to kill. It is the tool to control. I can't kill this man on my own, but I can give him some stacks of confusion and then when Sparrow comes, he forces him to use skills. And first we can kill him. Now enemies don't come as a group, they come as individuals, that's why they have problems. I stand in the chaos storm, so I get some nice buffs and ages. And enemies which attack me, they get retaliation damage and confusion damage. And they get some cripples, which is also a nice thing. I am very inexperienced in this build at the time this video is made. I don't remember to use Scepter 3, for example, here. 
and still I don't do anything to him until Meow Kime comes and forces him to move. Thought Yes, I know. And now, one more mirror images to force those people not to use their skills. Even if I don't kill, if I don't harm a lot, I make them stop doing anything. So the team, especially a glass team, has it easier. Some small scale fighting, three against a bit more, and a flag. Now, that guardian, I don't remember what happened to him. A wild heap appears once again. A mistake on my part, I could have tapped him. Well, Chaos Storm, Chaos Armor, and while the Warrior and Necromancer attack enemies, I can simply have some fun on my own. Simple Stomp. And there is one Thief. So, the Thief got some stacks of confusion and Phantasma, Illusionary Mage. He tried to invis stomp, but the confusion downed him. During that time I was able to rest and ally. Please notice, they were the ones who killed. I just applied some stacks of confusion, some controls and some battle healing on the way. Quite an awesome battle. Five of us, five of them, they have an upgraded camp and a ballista. Ah, and an arrow card. Invisibility plus ages makes it easier to rescue, but I didn't make it. He sacrificed to rescue himself. A moment too late. Now we ambush. Interesting, that was a picked up group, it wasn't a guild group, even if the players were quite competent. And that would be all. Thank you for watching. I hope I've managed to show you what a Confusion Mesmer can do, especially in this configuration. Thanks for your time. Excellent out.